What's up, dreamers? It's me, Joseph. I have been off social media for a couple of weeks and still feeling a little bit rough, a little bit sort of headachey, but I had to sort of jump on here and firstly update everyone on practically what's happened and what I'm going through, and then also talk a little bit spiritually about I think um, what I think God is saying to me at this time. Um, and I think I just want to bless people and warn people and just get some stuff off my heart and off my chest. Um, so firstly, what I want to talk about is what happened to me. Um, I had um, an emotional breakdown about two weeks ago and I've actually been in bed ever since. It's been really hard for me to get up. I've had um, pretty hardcore fatigue since then. I've had some serious sadness a lot, a lot of crying and just a weight sort of bearing down on me. Um, obviously, we've had lockdown and we've had COVID and it's been a, a stressful time for everyone. And I lost all of my work. Um, it sort of forced me into doing some other things to try and be creative and also earn some money. Um, and I got a loads of new sort of subscribers and followers and therefore quite a bit of pressure that happened as well and just a lot a lot of change and then on top of that the sort of icing on the cake is everything that happened with um george floyd and all the racial injustice that's been happening in the world and the way the world has just responded in outcry in anger in just social media blowing up and people just going at each other and just a lot of hate and sadness and all of these things just got so much for me. I felt um, probably a self-inflicted sort of hero complex come upon me where I wanted to do something. I was really passionate about the subject and I've learned so much since then. And I believe just all of this combined, um, practically speaking, got too much for me emotionally and I just sort of crumbled. And that was two weeks ago now. And it's been not super pretty since then. Um, on a more sort of, I've made some notes here. I've been doing journaling sort of every couple of days just to make sure I'm getting everything off my chest in my sort of prayer time. Um, and I, yeah, was asked God to sort of give me a vision about um, just how I'm feeling and how it's going to sort of help me. And he actually gave me a picture of like an angel walking into my bedroom here and um, putting a hand on my chin and raising up my head um, and I saw the saints in heaven and I also saw thousands of um, ex-enslaved people holding their chains in their hands that were no longer tied to them and just finally feeling at peace and finally feeling content and that sort of that picture has really helped me as I've sort of pushed forward in my thinking. I am also yeah getting a bit of like counselling and therapy from um, some good Christian friends of mine through all of this. Um, but what really what really triggered this more sort of spiritually is the media and what I think um, the devil is trying to use the media right now to bring fear and bring hatred and to deliver all kinds of mixed and hurtful messages to everyone and I don't think it's very helpful. I don't think social media is a very hopeful or helpful place at the moment and I believe in good and I believe in bad. I believe in angels and I do believe in demons and I actually got a couple of videos on both of those subjects because I've seen those two things happen and so I'll link them up. Um, another couple of videos you might want to check out is at the start of this year I released two prophetic word videos about 2020 and about how I think the media is going to have a breakthrough spiritually and we're going to see um, God use the media positively. Um, and also you might have noticed churches all over the world using lockdown um, and using media together to keep putting their message out there. And I believe there is a huge collision and I believe that the devil is shaking right now as the media is finally being used for good all around the world and not just to deliver a mixed message of lies and fear. I don't even ever watch the news. Um, I don't like watching the news because it feels like I'm just watching the bad news. And as a Christian, I only want to consume the good news. And that is 
God's word. And so I feel like we need to be um, wary of what we are consuming. Um, last year, before I made those videos, those prophetic words, um, God sort of spoke to me and said, either you become an influencer or you're just being influenced. That means when I'm on social media and when I'm consuming media, am I just taking it in or am I pushing back? And am I using that platform to talk about hope, to talk about encouragement? And that is my calling. That's just my calling in life is to use this YouTube, Instagram, film to talk about encouragement, to talk about hope and to spread the message of Jesus. And so that's sort of where I'm at. I'm obviously feeling the the conflict and the warfare right now as um, God is using the media and the devil is obviously quaking and not happy about it and trying to fight back. And although all of these things are very um, negative, I believe that out of this situation and out of lockdown, we're going to see some amazing things happen. So stay tuned. Um, I'll be back uploading things and posting things more regularly soon, but not quite yet as I just continue to sort of heal and rest and try not to do anything else. Um, I'd love to just drop some Bible verses in before I go. Isaiah 8:12. Do not call conspiracy all that this people call conspiracy and do not fear what they fear. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eye shows you what is true, then your whole body will be filled with light. And when the eye is bad, the body will be filled with darkness. That's Matt 6.22. What are you watching? Are you just watching? Or are you inputting? Are you pushing back? Romans 12.2. Do not conform to this world. Revelation 12 talks about Satan deceiving us. He is the deceiver. And I think that's what he's trying to do right now. 1 Corinthians 10.23, it might not be against the law, but is it helpful? Let's think about that when we're watching um, scary movies, when we're just endlessly scrolling and just consuming. Yes, it's the Bible doesn't say, you know, we can't have social media, but it's, it's saying here in um, Corinthians, is it helpful? What are you doing that is helpful? What are you doing that's not helpful right now? Isaiah 52, 7 says, bring the good news of happiness and publish salvation. That is what I want to do. That is my heart for this channel. That is my heart um, for just media, TV, video, creativity. I want to spread joy and spread the message of salvation and encourage people and also just have loads of fun while I do it and be silly and that sort of thing. And so um, that's the update for you. I'm not going to go on too much longer. I'm actually going to go back and have a nap. But you are wonderful. You are beautiful. Jesus is doing something big right now in me. And he's doing something big in the whole world right now. Let's fight for injustice, for racial injustice. Let's fight to use the media for his glory, peace and love. Goodbye.